the Chesapeake Bay, largest estuary in the United States, home to one in every 20 Americans, nearly 17 million people. The Chesapeake Bay watershed covers six states and more than 64,000 square miles. One of the country's most valuable natural treasures, the bay offers countless recreational opportunities and supplies millions of pounds of seafood to the world each year. Once famous for its incredible supply of oysters, so numerous they were a navigational hazard, the Chesapeake Bay has now lost more than 99% of its native oysters and each year continues to lose more than 2,600 acres of oyster habitat. Why is this important? Although Maryland is for crabs, the oyster is the Chesapeake Bay's unsung hero. They're a natural food source high in protein, zinc, selenium, and omega-3 fatty acids. But oysters aren't just good food. These animals are critical for the ecologic health of the Chesapeake Bay. Known as the keystone species, oysters serve as the kidneys of the bay by filtering silt, sediment, and nitrates out of the water. Mature oysters can filter at a rate of up to 50 gallons per day. With an oyster reef of just a million oysters, more than 50 million gallons of water, or more than 75 Olympic-sized swimming pools, can be cleaned in a single day. Oysters also act as engineers and architects that build natural reefs where much of the bay's marine life finds refuge, including the blue crab. Oysters once filtered all of the Chesapeake's waters in a matter of days. Now it takes more than a year. And without oyster reefs, the species that rely on oysters are suffering too. Also known as ORP and founded in 1994, the Oyster Recovery Partnership is a dedicated facilitator and implementer of all major oyster restoration activities for the state of Maryland. Because of ORP's efforts, more than two billion oysters have been returned to the Chesapeake Bay, resulting in the reestablishment of 70 oyster reefs on 1,300 acres of bottom. A hundred years ago, oyster harvests exceeded 10 million bushels a year, but those days are long gone. Oyster-specific disease, historic overfishing, and the onslaught of silt and sediment runoff and degraded water quality have overwhelmed the remaining oyster reefs, leaving our harvest rates at just a fraction of what they once were. That's why the Oyster Recovery Partnership launched the Oyster Shell Recycling Alliance to collect used shells from restaurants and caterers from across the state and recycle them for new oyster habitat. The shell is transported to the University of Maryland Center for Environmental Science Horn Point Lab Hatchery in Cambridge, Maryland, where they are aged and cleaned to become a home to new baby oysters called spat. This spat on shell is then replanted by the hundreds of millions on hundreds of acres of pre-selected and prepared oyster reefs around Maryland's portion of the Chesapeake Bay, creating a viable future for the oyster population. Often employing Maryland watermen with their dredging gear, ORP prepares the oyster reefs for planting and utilizes GPS and sonar mapping to refine planting areas. But building an oyster reef is no simple task, and oyster restoration has no one formula. The Oyster Recovery Partnership strategically employs adaptive management practices to customize the needs of each river and oyster bar. ORP is also actively supporting the emerging aquaculture industry while continuing its support of a well-managed wild fishery. Our partnership also conducts public outreach and education efforts. Each year, ORP travels with our interactive Lil Nippers display to trade shows, schools, festivals and fairs, teaching children and adults alike about the importance of oysters and protecting our bay. ORP also works alongside eco-minded corporations to research and promote oyster recovery efforts and bay health issues. Thank you very much. But ultimately, it's the public like you who will have the biggest impact 
in improving the health of the Chesapeake Bay. So if you want to leave your legacy on our bay, please visit us on the web at www.oysterrecovery.org. Sign up for our newsletter, volunteer, become a fan on Facebook by searching Oyster Recovery Partnership, or simply donate. Over 90% of all donations go directly into the bay, and our funding sources are diversified through grants from NOAA, DNR, and private organizations, as well as donations from corporations and individuals. A few dollars can plant thousands of oysters. As you may have guessed, with partnership as our name, all of this impact could not happen without our valued partners. Restoring the Chesapeake Bay's oyster population is essential to improving the health of the bay, revitalizing the regional seafood industry, and stimulating the local economies of our state's waterfront communities. Restoring the bay means restoring our oysters and all the other species that depend on them.